original signature intruder. I've got a medium sized return eye shank. I'm gonna tie our thread in here. Um, the original fly was not the ultra rig, but that's what I will be doing today. So you've seen this a bunch from our videos. I've got it all rigged up here. Tie it in. Vice pawn it so I don't shank myself. Tie it up. through the eye, back down, and make our securing wraps. I'm going to cut this pretty far back so I don't leave myself with a giant step down. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to go back up, we're going to mount our eyes. And on this fly, we're going to actually mount them fairly far back from the eye of the hook. Something like that. I've got maybe a day left on this glue. It's getting pretty gummy. We'll see if I can make it work for this one. So nothing crazy there, we've seen that done a million times. That should be, if you're tying intruders, this part should be, you know, business as usual. Shouldn't give any problems at all. Um, all right, dubbing. Uh, we're gonna go, uh, we'll do pink and white. And this is the um, signature intruder from like way back, right, long ago. Uh, long fiber dubbing, I'm actually going to cut it down in half. Um, you know, this fly was popular a long time ago. But um, the factory, as a lot of factories, never tied it. You know, they tied it how they tied it, but it wasn't in the same depth as uh, Scott Howell tied it. So we're going to be tying it a little more of the way that Scott tied his, um, which is a much better fly than the factory fly that we saw. So I'm going to do a dubbing loop. Tie this in. I'm not picking this out. I want to keep the bump. Like, I want to keep that core pretty thick. Okay, tie it off. Tying some ostrich hurl. I've got some, uh, some nice white ostrich here. Uh, we'll go ooh, check length here. And Scott ties his with just one going over the back. So we will do it the same way. I'm going to go just just a smidge past the hook, just a tiny bit past the hook. Right, this is not working out for me already. Let's see. All right, there we go. OK. 
Okay. Tie it off tight. Tie it off short. Just like that. And we're going to add another little, just a short little dubbing ball of that same pink. of ostrich. Okay. All right, cool. Um, wrap it up to the return eye there. Uh, I'm going to use Mirage for the body. So I'm going to tie it in. to this dubbing here just to keep it at bay. Wrap all the way back. Okay, now uh, this is not something you have to do, but something I like to do is uh, I'm a huge fan of the fluorescing um, <clears throat> loom and the fluorescing finish. I'm going to add it to the tinsel. I really, really like kind of that glow you're going to get. You see how it just, I mean, the camera doesn't do it justice, but if you grab some of this and you'll see it just absolutely glows um, inside the fly. Yeah, it takes about 15 seconds to really get done. Cured up. Good. Dubbing loop.
Take that dubbing. Same dubbing. You can use any dubbing you want. This one's probably a little long for what I like, but um, the fiber. But I like the color a lot, and that's why I'm using this. Um, throw it in here. I'm not going to do a huge dubbing ball. Again, spin it up. Wrap it in. Cool. Another dubbing loop. If you need practice with dubbing loops, this is the fly to give it to you. Um, somewhere, there we go. We've got some Arctic Fox. I'm going to do a fox collar. there I'm just gonna go my length is gonna be just to here clip those butts cool spin it up and then grab the uh, EP finger brush gosh I just had mine there it is And just kind of comb this out a little bit. Make sure everything's open. And then as we're wrapping, we're going to pull back, make a wrap, pull back, make a wrap. Just like that. Cool. Looking good. So now we're going to run our ostrich. Um, I'm going to use the same white. We're going to do another dubbing loop. I think what I'm going to do though real quick is I'm going to, I want to get this out of the way. So you can just take a little lead wire, you know, that you use in wrapping uh, trap flies and stuff. Pull everything back and just give it a, a couple wraps just like that okay another dubbing loop ostrich uh, our length I like to be about halfway so we'll see what where we can get in. This might be a little short down here. Eh, that's actually going to work. So we'll go, we'll go this lower section. Oops. Got it pinched just as I cut it off. And I'm fighting my dubbing loop here. There we go. Pop it in. And then grab it just below. Just below. Keep it tight. And clip these butts. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit here. Something like that. I'm going to start spinning it. That's going to start slow. So I'm spinning it, but not letting go of my finger yet. Now I'm going to pull it tight, nice and slow. 
and slowly release the tension of your finger. Then you can bring it up. If you go too fast, if you go too fast, your ostrich is going to blow out on you. Um, you lose half of it in, in the in the loop here. So it, don't go too fast. Take your time with this. Bring it all back. <coughs> Excuse me. So after every wrap, I'm going to pull back. Every wrap, pull back. That's how we're done. Okay. Now I'm going to release the fox from the lead wire. Looks pretty good. Give this a wet. Bring it all back. And then I'm going to capture this ostrich here. So I don't want that in my way for this next step. All right. Another loop. We are really crowding our eyes, but I like to crowd the eyes. I don't like gaps. Uh, eyes really drive me crazy because you're constantly fighting the aesthetics of these eyes. They, they do serve a purpose, um, but they drive me nuts. I'd rather have a cone or, some, or a bead, but we have to orient this. There's, a, there's an up and down to this thing. Um, these eyes are just, I really, really like to tuck up underneath each barbell to really close the gaps. I, I just hate gaps. It's, they don't matter, the fish don't care, I understand that, but I just, I don't like gaps in here, so I always really crowd this just to get a nice, like, tight, packed-in head. I'd rather have a longer body and a packed-in head than kind of this front just taking up half the fly, if that makes sense. Um, we're going to run... And why don't we run some long fiber, like, I don't know, what do you guys want to run? We can do a lot of different things here. Um, we'll just run this ice tub. Actually, let's go pink. We'll go pink. Let's see what pink looks like. So on this one, I'm not going to cut this dubbing. Same dubbing. not going to cut it. I'm going to leave it long because we're going to be forming kind of a head, if you will. Okay. Spin this up. And this one I will be picking out. So use the finger brush here. Okay, pull it back, and do a wrap, go over the top, probably didn't give myself quite enough, so in that case, if you don't give yourself enough, then I'm going to go, I'm going to have to go top, aren't I? Okay. Didn't give myself quite enough, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix it. You see it's just not really symmetrical. There's an easy fix for this. I'll flip it over. Let's take a little bit here. Tiny bit. Get it evened up. Tie it in. Yes, you can tie in dubbing. Double it back over. Pinch it with your thumb. And that'll spread it out. Alright, no harm, no foul. Now, before we go any further, let's see how we look here. Okay, cool. Alright. 
Now there's a topping ostrich. We'll do pink. I'm going to use just nasty fluffy ostrich. Something that just kind of lays down nice. Okay, that'll be just fine. And now for the last step. Tackle tips. I'm just going to use natural grizzly. Check our length here. That'll look good. So that's one. I need two. Get our length, strip it. Match them up. Okay. Push it through the eye. I'm going to tie one off to the side. Tented. Through the eye. Tie the other one off to the side. Like that. Tie them in, flip them down, tie it in, and whip finish. So this is a very traditional Scott Howell signature intruder. He may have moved on from this fly, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a great fly for um, just kind of what he does is get have a good profile, but just get deep, get deep fast. There's not a lot going on here to float this thing. We've got really heavy lead eyes. Um, everything in this fly is is really good at just getting real deep, and where where he fishes, it makes total sense. So I'm gonna. Push this all forward, get this ultra rig system buttoned up here. Take my eyes, flip this thing up. Bam. So we've tied uh, much prettier flies than this, you know, in the last few years for sure. Uh, this is still just, a, it's got a home, man. It's got a place, lots of action, um, lots of action, and then, uh, again, it just sinks. It just sinks so freaking fast. Um, it's a great one. So if you need to do depth charge uh, on your next uh, adventure, tie a couple of these uh, old-school signature intruders. Cool fly. Um, you know, Scott Howe was there in the beginning. And uh, anyway, yeah, have fun with it. Thank you.